Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video and show you guys how I price overseeding lawns in the winter time. Stay tuned. recommend but I do like it when customers opt in to get their lawns overseeded in the winter time with perennial ryegrass here in the south um, it just keeps me busy, busy throughout the winter time currently right now I'm at my sister's yard and as you see the lawn is dormant it is uh, December so in reality 90% of my customers lawns are now brown in December it did take a, a while this season for everything to go into dormancy um, I feel like November was the actual month where I noticed lawns literally started to shift and turn brown um, turning brown guys wherever you're at if you're in Florida you probably don't know what this is but I'm actually from Florida myself and I didn't know what dormancy was until I came up here and got into the green industry so the grass never turned green uh, brown in Florida basically is what I'm saying but I learned about it since I've been up here and um, unfortunately it's pr we're almost in a transitional zone we're not north and we're not deep south so it doesn't get super hot and it doesn't get cold enough for snow so throughout the winter time it is hard trying to stay busy uh, for as mowing lawns and lawn care and landscaping throughout the winter season so what I do is I do post ads for leaf cleanups and also um, uh, perennial ryegrass overseeding or annual ryegrass um, so this is this is my breakdown of how I get my price point and this is the things that I use to actually perform the job right, guys so this is right here is one of my local uh, provider and this is a 50 pound bag guys 50 pounds and Basically, this bag here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it cost me around 50 to 60 bucks. Yeah, I believe it cost me around 60 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. But 60 bucks for this bag. This is a 50 pound bag. This right here is a slow, well, not a slow release. This is a starter fertilizer to give a to give the seed a boost on getting started to growing. And um, this is what I put down after I put down the seed. And this is just a, a regular broadcast rudder. Um, this is what I use to put down the uh, fertilizer and also the seed. And what I typically do, guys, this is usually how I break it down. So this is a 50 pound bag and I just did a customer lawn today and his lawn was 2,500 square feet. Um, and I usually put down the rate of seed at eight pounds per thousand square feet. So if you do eight pounds, eight pounds, and then four pounds, we got 20 pounds that come out of the seed bag. You're probably like, Rob, well, how do you calculate that? In reality, I don't weigh the seed, of course. That'll just be overdoing it. What I do is I use a spreader and I put it on eight pounds per thousand square feet, as you see. So that's what that stands for. I put it, out, put it on eight and then just roll with it. And after I've do a full coverage of the lawn if I got a little bit left over I'll cover some of the areas that's a bit more bare than the rest of the lawn I load up the uh, broadcast spreader with the starter fertilizer um, this is going to help boost the uh, the growth of the perennial ryegrass faster than the uh, 
if I was to just throw down the seed without fertilizing. And for this guys, I set it on four pounds per thousand square feet. So I put this on four, toss, toss the uh, fertilizer in, then I roll with it. Um, I put that down at a lower rate because it's not much is required for the uh, fertilizer as required for the uh, perennial ryegrass. Um, and eight pounds per thousand square feet, that is considered, I would say, a high rate. So to break down the cost of this, the perennial ryegrass, it cost me 60 bucks. And this is a trimix, meaning when the blades come out, instead of it coming up one single blade, it pops up into three. One blade turns into three. So this will allow the lawn to get more coverage faster. And it may fill in faster than it would if it was just a single blade. That's the reason why it costs a bit more as well. Um, so this costs 60 bucks. Um, the starter fertilizer, it cost me $40. Um, so that puts me right there at a hundred bucks for these two. Um, of course, already the, uh, uh, so for instance, this cost me a hundred bucks. Off of these two items put together, I charge fifty dollars per thousand square feet. So in reality, that's six thousand two hundred and fifty square feet that I can get out of the lawns. And for each thousand feet, I'm making fifty bucks. That's three hundred bucks. Just doing the quick math. That's three hundred bucks that I make off of just spending a hundred bucks. Also, I look at it like this. Some of the customers that I have um, who opted in for this service like two years in a row, I actually drop the price for them because I look at it like servicing them on a weekly basis when they have down this uh, perennial ryegrass. Hey, that's, that's just like the uh, summer season. Thing, so I'm making 25, 40, 50, depending on the lot size. I'm making money um, throughout this time versus actually just doing nothing. So think about that as well. You can uh, sacrifice. Don't lose money on like what you're putting down. For instance, if I put this down, um, let's say for that same customer, for instance, 2,500 square feet. In reality, if I'm charging $40 per thousand square feet, that's actually a hundred bucks. You get what I'm saying? 40 and 40 plus, let's say another 20. That puts me right at a hundred bucks. So I'm not losing out on material. Of course, it may cost me a little bit of time. But I make all that back in due time when it comes to actually servicing their property on a weekly basis. So, there you have it, guys. That's how I actually uh, price out um, putting down perennial ryegrass. And this is what keeps me busy throughout the slower part of the season. Um, if I can have enough customers to up in, five, ten customers, that's awesome. Keeps me keeps the money flowing in um, on top of the commercial accounts and also with leaf cleanups but i just wanted to make that video it may be different in your market but make sure you think about the thousand square feet uh pricing just because that's a big piece of it of course you got overhead drive time all that comes into factor as well but this is how i price it out based off of my business every business is going to be different but keep trying to keep doing it guys just want to share that with you